and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Lament of Innocence. I'm Bupix, and with the Vampire Killer in hand, it's time to go take on Walter. Welcome. I have been waiting, Leon. Walter, I will never forgive you. I see. It seems you have enjoyed the gift that I gave you. <sighs> yes. Thanks to that, I now have the power to defeat you. Well, that power is quite something. But I am beloved by the night. You will taste my powers. I'll kill you and the night! Interesting. Now the curtain rises on this delightful little game. Nothing left to protect you. I'll fulfill my promise to Sarah now! Not yet. The power of the night is still full. I shall teach you the meaning of true terror! And it's time for the fight against Walter. He's much like a typical Dracula fight in the other Castlevanias, in that he warps around and does various different attacks. Pretty much every single one of these attacks is quite painful, so if you can, try not to get hit. Of course he has to laugh when he teleports. It's the Dracula standard. That explosion has quite a large radius, so make sure to stay away from it. And he tries to punch you. Which is an odd thing for a vampire to do. But I guess Dracula did try to kick you in Order of Ecclesia, so what do I know? and sometimes he doesn't do anything. That attack can be difficult to dodge if you don't move before it starts. What I just used was the Wide Orb Knife Combo. Also, you should watch out for this. He goes up to the throne, make sure to get away from him. He only does it when he gets down below half health. And as for that Knife Wide Orb Combo I was talking about, it's a pretty nice projectile. Fairly damaging, relatively quick. It's nice. This geyser attack is really stupid. Probably his easiest attack to avoid. Are you trying to dance there? You trying to dance? Vampires can't dance. I think he's in on a joke I don't know about. And that's so hit. Just run up and get screwed over by the camera. Thanks. It's good to know you're always on my side. Yes, keep doing that. It worked so well the first few times. It's bound to work the next time. Is it? Just keep trying and you'll get it eventually. The next time will work? Who knows? That also hit him. I don't think he takes damage when he's teleporting. That didn't kill him. Oh well. That did. It can't be. This should not have happened. 
Sarah's suffering and Ronaldo's grief. Carve them into your cursed body and perish. But uh, with my powers, I will surely come back to life. I could not obtain the Crimson Stone, uh, but someday it will be mine. <laughs> Disappoint me, Leon. I knew without a doubt that you would accomplish this. What is the meaning of this? I needed a powerful vampire soul. That is all. Are you saying you used me? Not just you. Your betrothed, Sarah, Rinaldo, and Walter. I used all of you. I never thought it would go so well, though. Is that... Red Stone? The Crimson Stone? Ah, you know it. I'm impressed. I made Walter's soul mine with the power of this stone. I sense a rage from this whip. You abandoned humanity? That's right. By becoming a vampire, I obtained eternal life. That was my goal. It was my revenge against God. Revenge against God? We have risked our lives and fought for the sake of God. But God mercilessly stole away the one I loved most. When all I ever wished for was Elizabeth's safety. If limited life is God's decree, then I shall defy it, and within that eternity, I shall curse him forevermore. what the woman you loved would have wanted? The Matthias I know would not have loved such a woman. Elisabetta was a kind, honorable woman. She was concerned only for me to the very end. That is why I hate him! Am I wrong? Did you not defeat Walter with hatred in your heart too? Yes, I'd be lying if I claimed otherwise. But defeating him... No. Preventing others from suffering the same cursed fate 
That was Sarah's dying wish. <gasps> Granting my beloved's wish. That is all I can do to prove my love to Sarah. Eternity without her would be nothing but emptiness. Leon, I thought that you would understand. Dawn is coming. Farewell, Leon. Death is all yours. boss of the game is death. I guess there's no Dracula, but okay. Minions is a really, really annoying attack. He summons all these flaming skulls that chase after you. They explode, and the explosion is much larger than you might think. It's pretty damaging, so you don't really want to get hit by it. You can knock them away with your whip, but I find that doesn't always work. One or two of them always slip by and get me. So I just run away from him. Watch out for the homing shot. When he twirls his scythe above his head, get further away from him and jump. I really hate that attack. It's not particularly hard to dodge, it just keeps me away from him so I can't damage him as quickly. I think the skulls explode faster when they're closer. So I guess that's an extent of being close to him. This arena is quite bizarre. Have those eyes in the background and this whatever it is I'm walking on. That was pretty cool. No sides. Do not use sub weapons against death. Not only do they do not damage him, he reflects them right back at you. Thankfully, when he's below half health, he stops summoning the skulls. But he gets a far more dangerous attack. Still does that move. And here it is. I failed at dodging that. You're supposed to run away from it and then jump when the beam hits the ground. You do not want to get caught in it, because it does a ton of damage. You can always tank it with the invincibility jar, like so. Don't take off the jar too quickly because that pillar of energy can still damage you. Nope. Alternatively, you can use the wolf's foot and outrun the shockwaves entirely. But I like using the invincibility jar just to get off extra damage. Overall, death isn't that difficult. It's damaging. But now, he's dead. To think that I would be... I have the power to destroy all related to the vampires. Though you have divine powers, you are no exception. Unfortunately for you, as long as my master survives, I will rise from the dead. I see. Give him this message. You have become a cursed being, and I will never forgive you. This whip and my kinsmen will destroy you someday. From this day on, the Belmont clan will hunt the night!
And so the story of the Belmont clan's struggle against evil begins. However, Matthias and the Belmonts will not meet again for hundreds of years. Matthias goes into hiding in foreign lands and continues to curse God for eternity. Eventually, he names himself Lord of the Vampires, King of the Night. The years before their next meeting pass slowly and quietly, but with finality. The intermission in this exquisite play from which two souls will never escape. <laughs>